a private Chinese aerospace company, Landspace, has won the race to launch a giant rocket powered by methane and liquid oxygen. The rocket blasted off at 9 a.m. today morning from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. It has successfully delivered a test payload into sun-synchronous orbit, making it the first in the entire world to achieve this feat. Hi, you are watching In Death with me, Ela, and today I have brought a very trailblazing development in the field of space mission. This morning's liftoff marked the second attempt for the Zook-2 rocket after an unsuccessful launch on December 14. Earlier this year, two other liquid oxygen methane rockets, the Terran one from Relativity Space in the US and Starship of SpaceX, had failed in their maiden attempts to reach orbit. Landspace said that after the success of the test flight, they will further optimize the rocket, accumulate experiences for its reliability and safety, which will lay the foundation to provide low-cost and high-performance products for the market. This rocket used liquid methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as oxidizer. They are reusable, non-toxic, powerful, and central to recyclable rockets. The rocket used a two-stage configuration, with a diameter of 3.35 meters, a height of 49.5 meters, a takeoff weight of 219 ton and a takeoff thrust of 268 ton. Methane-powered engines are crucial for the aerospace industry as they offer lucrative business prospects. Such engines are highly sought after because of their high performance and low operational cost. Methane can be produced in space itself by synthesizing water and carbon dioxide. This technology is even more suitable for reusable rockets, making it the front-running design in the new era of rocketry. Once the liquid oxygen and methane engine technology is mature and applied, this kind of propellant will be an industrial product that can be purchased in large quantities in the future, and the cost will be more controllable. Another important advantage of methane as fuel is that it is easier to solve the problem of carbon deposition after combustion, which can reduce the cleaning work when the engine is reused, and thus will eventually reduce the maintenance cost of reusable rockets. The Zook-2 team's achievement is another success for China's private aerospace sector this year, following the successful launch in April of Space Pioneer's liquid-propelled Tianlong-2.